ladies so it's time for a new video this one is by sensational empress and her name is irene as you can see right here she is in a very shocking red color with black to the front and this is a curved part it's not invisible so there was no tweezing needed there are two combs and an adjustable strap in the nape area as well as a comb in the nape area so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add some concealer but first things first the roots did not come dark like this it actually was an all red root so what I had to do actually is I used some of my favorite Aussie instant freeze hairspray and I used that around the perimeter of where I'm going to actually use my matte color darkest brown eyeshadow which I will use as basically a backup shadow for myself and on top of that I used some of my Moda's mascara and a toothbrush just to blend it in. Now onto the concealer. This is a really inexpensive concealer and I placed that all throughout the part so that way it looks more realistic and just like scalpage. So let's go ahead and get into this. First things first take off that scarf and let's place Irene on so first of all I love sensational but this is really not the color that I asked for it was basically the color in the photo that you did see in the beginning but I'm gonna work with this because it's always kind of cool to step outside of the box and see actually what I look like in this red wig so what I'm applying now onto my hairline is some topic keratin hair filler fibers which I use to fill in my edges so that they look thicker as just a little bit thicker and as well as that is help the wig blend in you can pick up this product at either sally's beauty supply or also target.com you want to go ahead and brush that in and just go back into just making sure that it looks neat and realistic it's not a wet spray it's basically like little tiny hair fibers so now i'm going to take that concealer and bring it out just a little bit to my hairline and smudge it in and brush this wig to the best of my ability so it is a little flat and I do like a lot of hair, but we're going to work with this ladies. Now as for the black pieces in the front, I really wasn't like a huge fan of those. So what I'm going to do now is take those black hairs and kind of place them back underneath the wig so they're not so noticeable. A little bit is okay, but I didn't want as much as the actual wig had. And now for some hairspray, just to hook Irene up, because you can use hairspray on any synthetic wig. So here she goes, all style. She is a very pretty red color. Not maybe my red, but you know what? It is a very, very pretty red color. And she is available at sisterwigs.com. Okay, ladies, so let's get into this wig. I know you girls are like, April, you have like really, really stepped outside of the box. And I'm going to tell you something. I stepped outside of the box, but it wasn't my intentions. Honestly, seriously, it wasn't. So first of all, this is the Sensational Empress Lace Wig curved part called Irene and if you're interested in this bright color it's a DX1 BR now honestly I did ask for the color that the model is actually wearing which is a beautiful beautiful color I love this color right here it's more or less like honey blondes and browns and so I got the red one instead when I opened up the box I'm just gonna be honest um, when I opened up the box and pulled the wig out the first thing that I did I was like <gasps> That's the first reaction. So I said, you know what? It will just do it. It might come out okay. Now I'm going to tell you one thing. The roots did not come dark like this as you see right here. No. They were red roots. As you've seen in the beginning of the video, I used some hairspray first and brushed it on with a toothbrush. Then I used the darkest brown matte eyeshadow that I had, which I used and applied it with a small eyeshadow brush and I just put that around the perimeters of where I was going to actually place and where I wanted the darkness and then on top of that I use one of my mascaras that I'm not a huge fan of so I don't use it on my lashes is the Motos and I just spread that very lightly and then brushed it in with one of my hair toothbrushes now do I like it I like the curved part I do like the style but I'm gonna tell you what I'm not a fan of red hair at all um no not at all like I like red hair I do like red hair but it, be, it all depends on what color red and what style we rock in okay but the one thing that I think they should have kept out of the wig which is just my opinion is they shouldn't have put black hairs in the front so there's black hairs right in the front and thank goodness i was able to somewhat camouflage those because i really didn't want the black hair sitting right there so i tucked some of the black hairs back 
inside of the cap. Now as for the actual curved part, I didn't have to tweeze any hairs out of it, which is a plus. Um, that's one thing I like. I do love the curved parts, especially if they're visible. This one does not say that it's an invisible lace front or uh, invisible part. It's actually just a curved part, curved L part, which I do like. It's so natural. But for the most part, Sensational is a really great brand. So if you're interested in Irene, you can check sisterwigs.com. I will post their information below as well as that as the other colors are also listed on the back of this card, which there is a nice variety in colors as well as if you want to build up your makeup collection or you just love makeup as much as I do and for some really inexpensive makeup, you can check out Sister Wig's sister site which is sister21.com and I'll post that below for you as well. If you want a coupon code for 10% off, you can use code MUFFIN at time of checkout. So on that note, let me know what you think of Irene in this shocking red color and as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you girls and guys on my next video and stay diva and divalicious.